karamani akuje turai bana isa sifiwe tunejejwe ushima imana muri uyu mugoroba gaglan to thank all this evening mana yagize neza one has been faithful duhaye umugoroba mwiza wo guterana for giving us this beautiful evening to come together we praise the name of god amen ah shimiye kandi abantu bateranye also thank you all for coming abakecura basazana abantu bato all of you in your age groups mana yemwijuru wa mugisha may god bless you kandi gushimira imana iduhaye umwanya wo kuganira ijambo ryayo we also thank god for this moment to share his word shimira abashumba babiduha Thank the leadership for this chance. Mani bahu mugisha. May God bless you. Kindi ndashima imana ah je bundi imana yampaye umwana w'umuhungu. Also thank God for giving me a son. Ndashima imana yabikoze imana ihabwe icubahiro. I thank God for what he has done. Glory be to his name. Ah ndivyari byo rusha ariko imana yarabikoze. It was not easy but God did it. Imana ihabwe icubahiro. We give praise to God. Ubu dufite ibyishimo no munezero mu rugo. Now we are so happy back at home. Kwera ko twabonye undi mwana. Because of having another kid. Imana ihabwe icubahiro. Praise be to God. Tugiye kuganira ijambo mu mwanya usigaye. We're going to share the word in the remaining minutes. Uh, turacari mu bihe bya Pasaka. We are still in the mode of Easter. Uh, kuko Pasaka abisiraheri bayizizaga iminsi. Because the Israelites irindu. used to feast for seven days. Nyuma yo kwiziza Pasaka. And after feasting, bamaraga indi minsi irindwi ngo yo kurya imitima idasembuye. They, they, they held seven more days to eat and live and Biziza Pasaka ya Yesu. Still on the Easter Ah uh, ndaza kubaganiriza ijambo ryafashije muri Pasaka. I'll share a word that helped me during the Easter season. Uh, ari cyo nonge kuryumvamo kuberako mu bindi bihe nta ntabyumvaga. I understood this afresh. Reka dusome ijambo ry'Imana. Let's read the word of God. Kuvayo Exodus 12:7. Kuva Chumi na kabiri umurongo wa karindwi Exodus chapter 12 and verse 7 Sobe mwizina rya Yesu Bazende amaraso bayasige ku nkomanyirizo zombi no mu ruhamo ku muryango bya mazu bawuririyemo Muri iryo joro bazarye inta inyama zawo zokeje Bazirishe imitsima dasembuye Bazirishe imboga zisharira Ntimuzazirye mbisi cyangwa zitetse keretse zokeshe Igihanga cyaho nibinono byaho yaho nibyo nibyo munda byaho Ntimuzagire ico musiga ngo kirare ziraye muzazose amen amen eh uh, kongere dusome kandi muri Yohana utumwa bwiza we read again the good gospel according to John asoma hano hatatu we are reading three verses chapter 6 murongo wa 33 chapter 6 and verse 33 Yohana ubutumwa The gospel according to John gatandatu 33 and verse 33 Kuko umutima w'Imana ari uwamanutse uva mu ijuru ugaha abari mwisi ubugingo amen Amen Luka 22 murongo wa 7 Luke 20 and verse 7 Luka 22 and verse 7 Luke chapter 22 and verse 7 Nuko umunsi wi umitsi midasembuwe urasohora ari we ukwiriye kuwagirwamo umwana w'intama wa Pasaka 
bituma Petero na Yohana ati ni mugende mudugudu ni mugende mudutunganirize ibya pasaka kugira ngo turye baramubaza bati urashaka ko tubitunganiriza hehe arabasubiza ati dore ni mumara kugera mu mu murwa muraza guhura numugabo wikoreye ikibindi camazi mu mukurikire mu nzu ari bwijiremo nuko mubwire nyirinzu muti mwigisha arakubaza ngo icumbiriri hehe aho ari busangirire ibya pasaka nabigishwa be nawe ari bubereke icumba kinini cyo hejuru iteguye abe ariho ubitunganiriza amen amen bana yesa sifiwe amen atugiye kuganira ijambo rivuga ngo gusangira umwana w'intaho we are going to share a while that with the team sharing the lamb of god usangira umwana w'intaho sharing the lamb of god torero gusangira umwana w'intaho sharing the son of the lamb twasomye mu kuva we read in exodus sindi buvuge amagambo menshi i will not say much imana imaze gutuma mose gukura ubwoko bw'isiraheli muri egiputa when god sent moses to egypt yahuye n'intambara zikomeye arwana na farao he fought many battles with farao mani kora ibitangaza icenda and god worked nine miracles farao akomeza kwinangira kugira ngo arekure ubwoko bw'Imana but Pharaoh com- continued to harden his heart ageze kugitangaza cha 10 at the 10th plague man ibwira Mose God told Moses iramubwira ngo uyu munsi that today mubage umwana w'intama kill the lamb nimumara mufata maraso and of that take the blood muyashire ku nkomanyirizo z'imiryango no kuruha and put it on the doorpost and the lintel kugira ngo so that maraika w'umurimbuzi when the angel of destruction naza comes, when he comes akabona maraso and sees the blood arabanyuraho he will bypass you ariko uwo ari busange nta maraso ari ku muryango but whoever when he finds no blood at your doorpost aricha umwana wifura nikintu cyose kiri mu nzu cyifura he will kill every firstborn child and thing in that house mose arabategeka and Moses commanded them barabikora and they did that uh, babaga umwana w'intama they killed the lamb arababwira ngo and he told them that nimba mu wawe mudashowe umwana w'intama if you don't do that in your house you can finish one lamb in your house ufate umuturanyi wawe take your neighbor musangire and share with him musangire umwana w'intama share the lamb tagire uwo muraza and don't let anything slip over mu buryo wose ushire eat it all amen amen izo muraza and whatever slips over muzose uwo mwotsi rero ugahumura neza ni ku imana ari babwiye ngo ni bama izirara izo batashobora kumara bazose kugira ngo umwotsi wayo uhumure neza ugere ku imana god and command them to burn the remaining parts of the flesh so that the smell could get god bwana isa sifiwe amen bamaze kubikora and after doing that arababwira ngo muzozirye muzirishe umutsima udasembuye he told them to eat it with unleavened bread icyakabiri and the second thing muzazirishe imboga zisharira to eat it with bitter herbs cyagata and the third thing muzazirye to eat them muhagaze standing mukwese n'inkweto with their feet with kandi mwitwaje inkone as well as their staff cyagata and the third thing muzazirye zose to eat them roasted ntimukagira inyama nimwe musiga and not leave anything araruha atanga ibinyita bimwe abantu bajya bata 
and he gave some parts which were supposed to be thrown away. And said the head should not be thrown away but eaten. And its inner parts should be eaten as well. And even the inner parts should be eaten as well. To eat the old lamp, there was another condition. And in all that, you are not supposed to break any bone. Not to break any bone of the lamb. Meaning that you are supposed to slaughter it well. And not to eat any bread or roam it. But all to be roasted. Only roasted meat. Not to break any bone. And to share the lamb. Amen. Amen. What are these meat to the church today? That one says that this was the, the Easter Passover. And that is the definition of the Passover. What was the explanation of the Passover? It was sharing the lamb. And that is how they were supposed to eat it. And he said that is the Passover. In other words, Easter is sharing the lamb. Ah, for us, what does it tell us as the church of today? Will we slot another lamb? And then it becomes oh, yeah. the Passover. Our Passover is here with us. It is Jesus, the Lamb of God. He is our Passover. Ah, oh. Jesus and Jesus, should we bring him down and eat him? So that we can share him with others. To slaughter him and eat him. And roast his meat. Oh yeah. No. I'm going to give an explanation. Of what Moses told the Israel. Which is related to this day. Praise Praise to God. God. The first thing he told them, you were supposed to take the blood and apply it on the door. What did that blood mean? You say that you put it there to be the protector, to protect them from the angels of destruction. To destroy all the Egypt. And putting it there, there was no child who died. That blood was the protector. It was the protection for the Israelites. And no one died from them. At these times, what we are supposed to put there because Jesus became the sacrifice and is the Lamb of God he became our Passover as Christians we are supposed to put his blood at the doorpost and we don't put it literally but we believe in our hearts that the blood of Jesus Christ has the power to protect us from the devil and the demons as well as the witch the blood of Jesus Christ is the one who protects us when we believe it has our protection whoever does not believe in the blood you have other things which are protected they take their protection as well as their protection others all those things to protect their family. But for us who believe in Christ, Christ, the Lamb of God, whoever believe in His blood, it is what we believe in. It is our only hope. There is no enemy, no destructor who can destroy us when we have the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hiyo ndio pasaka yacu. That is our Easter is Christians. Arongera nababwira. And he told them once more. Musodishe izo nyama ngumitimi dasembuye. To eat it with unleavened bread. Imitima idasembuye. Unleavened bread. Mutimu dasembuye. Unleavened bread. Chari gishushanyo. Was an image. Chumubiri wa Yesu Kristo. Of the body of Christ. Uzatamba. Which was supposed to be given. Udafitine. Without any blemish. Iyo abisiri baryaga mitimi dasembuye muge cha pasaka. Whenever the Israelites used to eat the unleavened bread at Passover. They never put any yeast in it. But any other time, which is not the Passover, they used to eat with yeast. And that bread was only eaten during the Passover meal. They would take away the yeast. Meaning that Christo, the body of Christ and no yeast in it. There was no Adam who is the elder Adam. Bibiria the Bible tells us that it was supposed to take away the old Adam Adam who is the first Adam. Umubiri wa Christo, the body of Christ was to be eaten utarimo. without any blemish. Praise be to God. And again he told them that to eat them while standing. To eat with bitter herbs. Bitter herbs. Which meant that the pain Jesus would have it would show that the pain Jesus could get at the cross. For us Christians today, where do we feel this pain? For us, what it means to us, it is to always, always, Thinking about the pain Jesus endure the, the torture Jesus went through because of our sins. When the singer says, Say God, when you see me forgetting, please remind me. So, and that pain that we felt for me. Amen. And he told them once more. They are supposed to eat their head, its head. Eating the head of the Lamb of God. He said that our Lamb today is Christ Jesus. He told his disciples in his last words. That the bread from heaven. That I am the bread from heaven. So that I can give eternal life. Whoever will eat that bread. Will never die anymore. And other sellers that our ancestors say the bread from heaven. In the wilderness for 40 years. And Jesus said, yes, they ate it. They knew that it was from Moses. And they said that it was from Moses. And they said that it was from Moses. But the Father in heaven gave it to you. But again he told them that they ate it but still died. But whoever eats the bread I eat which is my body will never die. But they have eternal life. Amen. And he told the Israelites to eat the head of the lamb. Eating the lamb of the head of the what lamb. What does it mean? The head. This is the head. It has the mouth. The eyes. The ears. The nose. It also has the brain. Isn't that what makes up the head? Huh? 
That is what makes up the head. And many Christians because they never ate from the Passover. They never shared the Passover. They didn't know the meaning of eating the head of the lamb. But let me tell you. Eating the lamb, the head of the lamb, which is the lamb of God, it means that Whoever ate the head, Jesus used to tell them that. Moses told them that eating the head, it has this explanation. Whoever ate the head of Jesus Christ, because he's our Passover. They think like Christ. Meaning that whoever ate Christ is his head, the head of the Lamb of God, they have the wisdom from God, thoughts of God, and they look like God, they speak like God, and they breathe like Jesus. And he feels the nice smell. Amen. 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 And Paul wrote it and said, because they had eaten the Passover. And he said, for us, we don't think like but Christ. we think like Christ. Whoever is the lamp, the head of the lamp, they think like Christ. They don't think like the pastor. Or like people. But like Christ himself. Amen. And the Christians of today, they never ate the head. But they have thought different thoughts from Christ. They think badly. And they speak badly. They hear badly as well. Because they never ate the head of the Passover. They feel, they hear by They never ate the ears of the lamb. And their ears, they are still of the old. But they have not eaten the Passover. Whoever ate the head of the Passover, they hear well. And they hear God. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. The head once more. It has the tongue. Whoever is the head of the lamb, they speak like God. They speak well. But whoever never is God, their tongue still belongs to the head. They speak badly. And they still are better. They lie. Because their tongue has not been saved. They never ate the Passover. But whoever has eaten the Passover, they speak nicely. They speak nicely. Their tongues, they speak good things only. Amen. And the writer said, He asked how, in a source, Hova, Amazi, Meza, how can a source give good water and bad water? It is not possible. Any source has just one type of water. If it is a source, it has good water. Amen. And whoever has one time are those who ate the Passover. They are the people who live in God. These are the prophets God has said. They speak what God has said. And what God has said. They have eaten the Passover. Because their tongues have changed. They have eaten the head of the Passover. But if your tongue has not changed If you still speak like you used to do. All the people used to speak with God. Or you still if you still abuse if you still speak badly, you have not yet eaten the head of the lamb. Whoever has eaten the head, their tongues have changed. And they speak like Jesus. Amen. 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 
arongera arabwira ngo ibinonoza that it in a part ibinonoza umwana w'intama of the lamb of the lamb na byo musabirye we are supposed to be thrown away bivuga iki kuri twe what does it mean to us abari ibinono we have seen the lamb ibinono na maguru na maboko they are the lamb y'umwana w'intama of the lamb siko bakesha aya maguru these legs na maboko y'umwana w'intama the legs of the lamb abzeti minono Bwana Yesu asifi. Amen. Abari ibinono. We have seen the legs. Basaba kena nka Yesu. They walk like Jesus. Basaba kora nka Yesu. And they do what Jesus does. Bwana Yesu asifi. Amen. Bakora nkuko Yesu yakoraga. They do like Jesus used to do. Bakena nkuko Yesu yagenda. They walk like used to walk. Imamba bakistu benshi. There is on many Christians. Muri kino gihe. At this time. Bafite ibikorwa bitandukanye n'ibyo babemera. They have this different from what they did. Bitandukanye n'ibyo n'imyizerere ya. Different from their faith. Tubigeze bari kibinono. They never ate the leg. Tubigeze bari ibirenge bya za Yesu. They never ate the feet of the lamb. Bafite ingendo zitandukanye n'izo Kristo yagenda. They were different from Jesus. Bari mukugenda inzira zitandukanye n'izo Kristo yagenda. They were different ways from the ways of Christ. Ariko bari yo Pasaka. But you have seen. Abari umwana w'intama wese. Or the lamb of God nibinonoza basaba gena nka Kristo they walk like Christ basaba kora nka Kristo and they do what Christ does tusamuri imani cyo praise be to Jesus bwana Yesu asifi amen bwana Yesu asifi amen itaka and the fourth one arababwira ngo nibyo munda bya it told them the inner part nabyo muzabirye was so supposed to be eaten byo munda inner part inyama zo munda muzi inyama zigize inyama zo munda you know what makes up the inner meat harimo mutima There is the heart. Harima mara. There is the intestines. Harimo bibiliya byose muzamubona bigize inyama. Everything else that we know. Icyo bibiliya ashaka kuvuga kuri ibyo munda. What they were wanted to say on the inner part. Kugira ngo it is to say that basagira umutima to have the heart. Wari muri Kristo Yesu. That was in Christ. Paul arabsandika. Paul wrote it and said. Arabwira ngo he said that ngo mugire wa mutima. That you are supposed to have the heart. Wari muri Kristo Yesu. It was in Christ. Abagira umutima wari muri Kristo Yesu. Na bari ibyo munda. Zumana w'intama w'Imana. The lamb of God. Na bari ye. They have eaten. Inyama zo munda. The inner part. Na batarazitaye. And not throw it away. Ariko abantu besh. But many people. Bafite umutima. They have thrown it. Wanda mu wake of the elder nubwo bari mu rusengero nubwo biziza pasaka nubwo basa muri pasaka imisi yose imyaka yose kwitashe basa muri pasaka ariko imitima yabo niragahinduka abari ibyo munda za pasaka imitima yabo yarahindutse bafite umutima utari wakera bafite umutima wari muri Kristo Yesu kuko Kristo ni wa pasaka wa tuzamu ibigaza Haleluya haleluya Amen Abari ibyo munda We have sitten the inner part Bafite umutima wa Kristo They have the heart of Christ Kristo ni we pasaka ya Christ is our Passover Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Dusangira umwana w'intama Let's share the lamb of God Gusangira umwana w'intama Sharing the lamb of God Nukurya muri ubwo buryo Is eating it in that way Nukurya Yesu muri ubwo buryo. It is eating Jesus in that way. Nukurya Yesu muri ubwo buryo. Eating Jesus in that way. Tanyuma ndangiza. And the last thing as I conclude. Arababwira ngo muzakiri muzawurye. All of them. Ntawe usibye Yohana gusa. All apart from John. Abandi bose bishwe. All the others were killed. Bahorwa ubutumwa bwiza. For the because of the good news. Yes, amaze kubasigira izo shinga. When Jesus gave them those restrictions. Bamaze kurya pasaka muri ubwo buryo butatu. After eating the Passover in those streets. Barahagurutse baragenda. They went away. Na waguye muri Yerusalem usibye Yakobo. No one died in Jerusalem. Na Tesefa. James and Stephen. Nibo bombi gusa baguye muri Yerusalem. All those people died at Abandi was. All the others. Baguye hirya no hino. They died at different places. Abandi babiri baguye ahantu hamwe. And two people who died at the same place. Paul and Peter. Was Paul and Peter. Nibo baguye They died in Rome. Bishwe numwami nero. Killed by the Kandi king. nawe. And him too. Yabo yabisha bahora ubutumwa bwiza. He killed them because of the good news. Bamaze gushinga itorero ryo muri Giro. After starting a church in Rome. Yo mangu abagaturika. Kiriziya nkuru bitirira umutagatifu. It is the reason Peter. the Romans have the main city in Rome. Kiriziya papa bam. That is where the pope lives. Naho Petero yaguye. That is where Peter died. Yari 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 pasaka. He had eaten the Passover. Abigi was and all the disciples. Four is two in The twelve of them. Have you ever heard that we share Jesus? Apart from Jesus, we are Muslims. 
Matthias. He was replaced with Matthias. And Matthias. Yaguye muri Afrika. He died in Africa. Ya mama zubutunga bwiza. Still preaching the good news. Bana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bose all of them. Bari barariye They had eaten the Passover. Bahitamo kugenda. And they chose to go. Na nungu taragiye. No one never went. Hanu taragiye Passover hagaze. No one never ate the Passover. Bose bari ye Passover bahagaze. They ate the Passover. Bite ku yakwa mama zubutunga bwiza. They had to go and preach the good news. Bituma. Meaning that. Bahinduka rwose. They made them change at all. Ubutunga bakwizi si yose. And they spread the gospel to the world. Because they had shared with Jesus. Uyu mugoroba. This evening. Bakwifuriza gusangira na Yesu pasa. I wish that you share with Jesus. Kugira ngo uhaguruke. So that you can stand. Wa mama zubutunga bwiza. And preach the good news. Ari umwigisha umwe wantangaje. One preacher surprised me. Umwigishwa wa Yesu witwa Andre. He was a disciple of Jesus called Andrew. Andrea. Andrew. Bamubamze kumusaraba umeze gutye wo gukuba He was crucified on the cross this way Ah uh, no aba France bazaba wita ngo ngo ni la croix de la Saint Andre Bana Yesu asviwe Amen Bivuga iki What does this mean Nu musaraba It is a cross Umutafu that is holy Andre Andre Bamubamze kumusara bukanye niyo babambaga. It was a cross different from all the other crosses. Kintu gitangaje nasanze yakoze. And what is amazing that Andrew did? Kuri wa musaraba. On that cross. Boya umazeho iminsi itatu. He stayed there for three days. Bara mubamze. When he was crucified. Amara iminsi itatu. He stayed for three days. Abamwe muri ubwo buryo. Crucified in that way. Abantu bamushungera. When people came close to him. Baza kumuseka. They were coming to love at him. Igitangaza Andre yakose. And the great thing. Muri wo muwa se gucyo. In that torture. Mu bantu bose bazaga kumureba. We came to look at him. Boya wabwiriza gutumwa bwiza. He still used to preach the good good. Baza kumureba. When they came to see him, and laughing at him, they would preach the good news. And they would be saved and saved. And they would be saved and saved. And they would be saved and saved. For three days he was preaching on the cross. And those who had crucified him, and they saw what he was doing, they brought him down. So that he can stop preaching the good news. Uwo mwandisi wakoze ubwo bushakashatsi. And the writer who made that is. Aravuga ngo ngo bamumanuye ngo asigaje kuka gakeya. He said that they brought him down with just a little breath. Bamaze kumubambura. And after he was brought down from the cross. Warachika. He died. Bana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Uwo yari yarariye. Andrew and he eaten. Pasaka. Passover. Ayirisha. And he had eaten it. Imboga zisharira. Bitter herbs. Nukuvuga ngo. Meaning that. Aba Kristo Christians who have eaten Passover they are supposed to be prepared to be tortured the tortures Jesus explained and for us too it can come to us because of the good news we are not supposed to be afraid of the torture because Passover should be eaten bitter heart meaning that Passover should be eaten with all types of torture and we are supposed to be eaten any pain you can miss because of the good news who have eaten Passover should not be afraid of torture. And a singer said that he is not afraid of anything. And he should follow Jesus. That singer and eaten them with bitter herbs. Amen. Johanna John is the only one who died after of old age. Because Jesus Jesus and said that one of him. Then trying to kill him. But they could not do it. They held the arrest. And kill him. And cooked him in a in a sufuri of oil. Yes. One is as if you. Amen. But you take care of the guy who is going to kill him. Thinking that they were going to kill him. Chips. Bari wamutetse neza chips. 
Amen. When they put him the boiling pot, they rejoiced. And they rejoiced. And then they went to look at him. But he came out where he was having become a young man. Avamo ya Hindu musore musha. An young man. Baratanga. They were surprised. Bama se kuvuru kwa mugira. And after having nothing to do, Bama mufata baja kumuta kukagwa kapati. They went to throw him away. Bib gira ko. Thinking that. Arib gishwe ni rungu. He will die. Kuwe na kuwe rashash. Because he was an old man. Barabu ango uyumusaza. And they say this old man. Hakini tuko mugira. We can do nothing to him. Aru komanteri mne yafu zengo. One commentator said that. Baro shongo afati vzati. That they took grass. Bamu hambiri rahu vzati yohana. And they wrapped it around him. Dry grass. And then they burned him. They burned and burned, but John was not touched at all. Amen. And they threw him away. And at that place, the Bible says that when he came to that place, it was on a Sunday morning. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. Whoever sit in the Passover, that he pacifia all types of people. He came on the day of Sabbath. <laughs> and John died. And he started fishing. Just alone in that place. And after a moment of sharing, it is when he wrote the book of Revelation. The angel found him in that place. And he read these churches. Amen. And he wrote for seven churches. And he wrote for seven churches. And he wrote for seven churches. That book of Revelation was really He had been drawn to death. And he was raised. And God gave him the writing. And he said, he wrote one thing. And after writing, he threw it in the river. And the water was the middle. And you take it to where it's needed. And write to the church of Ephesus. And the water would take that church. He sent no one. Amen. And all those people, kuvuga, they say, are people who ate the Passover. In those three parts, the head of the Passover, and they never saw a There was no complaint. And their eyes never And they never they Christ alone was crucified. And the, the inner parts of the land. They have the heart that was great. And he was patient. Yes, and, and Jesus told us that, that when people hate you, know that they hated me first. They hated me as the Lamb of God. What would you think of you who are sons of men? When they, those come to you, know that they hated me first. They will not be the first ones to be hated. And they hated me when I was still in the Lamb of God. God. And I was pacified. What will make you pacified is eating the inner part of the lamb. And you are changed. Whoever has eaten the legs of the lamb. And all these disciples. Paul because after eating the Passover. He told the people to put their service. As this is in Christ. He had eaten the legs. He had eaten the legs of the Lamb of God. And he was walking like Christ. Walk like Christ. And told people to learn from him. Because I also learned from Jesus. Praise be to Jesus. The church of Christ. It's the lamp of God. It is the bread from heaven. Who is Christ Jesus. When you eat it in that way. No one is nothing to do with him. God may help us. May the word of God bless us. Amen. Amen.